we are back at Clint's house here today. So let's check out the lawn and today we're going to be doing some core cool aeration in prep for top dressing. Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. Get out the flies. Right, so back at Clint's house today, just waiting for Clint to turn up so we can aerate this bad boy. But as you can see, that furt has definitely kicked in and Clint did get excited and scout the lawn down a little bit because he got himself a real mower, which I'm going to show you guys very soon. So it's not holding as much colour as it should be, but it's definitely, definitely greened up after putting that furt out. Remember, that stuff's going to keep feeding it for like the next eight weeks or so, which is pretty ideal with the sort of weather work coming up. Um, yeah, you can see he's been keen with the real mower. He's got some stripes going. Look at that, crazy boy. But yeah, look at the difference though, from before to now. Like, it is seriously looking a lot better now. I wonder what this is. It looks like it might be a bit of fur burn where the spreader drops some. That is not ideal. That's all right. Once we top dress and core cool aerate, those areas will fill in because of all the Kentucky bluegrass that's here. But yeah, it definitely does look a lot better. Man, a lot better color. Well, before Clint turns up, I guess I'll explain to you guys what we're doing here over the next little bit. So today we're aerating Clint's lawn um, with a little core aerator that he's got the test behind his mower. Just something pretty simple to use for this massive area. We're not going to clean the cores up because it's such a huge area. Basically just going to use this core aerator to pull some plugs out and we'll break them down with the mower. But yeah, he's given the lawn a couple of waters every night this week just to make the soil a little bit softer. Still feels a little bit firm though, so I'll be interested to see how it goes. It definitely is in need of aeration. So it's a good thing that we're doing this. But the reason we're doing aeration is one, it's compacted, it's not taking in water as much as it should. And it's also gonna really help with drainage in this area, as well as taking up nutrients just a little bit better on top of that. Get some oxygen down to that root system. Which is ideal, we'll set himself up for the season. Um, and we're gonna do a top dress after that as well, just to fill in a few of those bare areas like we've got here. Allow some grass to actually creep into some loose soil or sand. I think we're actually going to use some sand here just so we get it nice and level because I find with soil it tends to break down over time. Um, so sand is going to be the go. Um, and when you're caught aerating and pairing with sand, not going to be an issue at all. Um, and there's a few spots here and there which are bare. A couple of spots where some trucks have come through. Like this for example, just to help put in the little fire pit. Um, so it'll be great to give this a top dress after core aeration, tie it in all together just so we set ourselves up for this season. You guys will see the results of how good it looks afterwards as well. Tell you what, this area here is actually looking really good. Man, you can tell it needs, I can tell you what, you can really tell it's compacted and it needs um, just to be aerated because there's areas like even through here, even though it has been watering heaps, it's just not taking up the water. A little bit hydrophobic as well, so it needs a bit of wetting agent. Um, yeah, you can just see it throughout it. But anyway, that is enough talking for now. We're gonna get this machine out. Um, I'll show you guys his new mower at the end of the video. And yeah, let's just aerate this spot and get things prepped. So that is all done. I'll tell you what, I'm actually pretty impressed with that once we got enough weight on that thing. Actually pulled out some decent cores. Let me find, not in every spot where it wasn't quite as wet, um, but look at that. That's in still a bit of a hard spot. And that's pretty impressive for that little core machine. Just used weight and pushed around like that. Now, it does need to be run over again, but Clint's gonna give his lawn like a really, really deep water over the next couple of days, supposed to get quite a bit of rain tomorrow night as well, which might be enough. Um, and then go over it a second time, just so we get a lot more cores there. Because the spacing is decent, but it'd be good to get over it just a second time. See if we can find a spot for you guys to show you the spacing on it. It's like a couple of, this one sort of tore a bit because it's really wet to see. Um, but yeah, it definitely went down nice and deep. It's down to my knuckle there, which is ideal. So about three inches, 
which is great. Here we go. There's another great core as well, so pretty impressed. But yeah, now this lawn is going to take up water so much more. It's going to be awesome for it, but yeah, that's about it. But thanks guys so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Um, next week, I'm going to be top dressing this place with the Eco 250, which is actually in the shed here, ready to go. So there's no way I'll stop dressing this place by hand. I'm going to get a little dingo thing to put the sand in top, in top of that as well. But yeah, all good anyway. Thanks guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Here's the old beast. It's an old Real Master 2016D. Jeez, I don't even know that model number. How old did you say it was, man? 20. Three, no. 93. 93. I don't know. And double check. Look at the little wrap they put on top, too. <laughs> Only 800 hours on this bad boy, though, so it's going to be. It's going to do, do the job like it's awesome. Pretty tidy for how old it is. It'll be good. We'll show you guys how to set this up when we eventually get it running and stuff and how it all works because it's a little bit different to the old ones I used to use on the golf course. But very, very similar concept. Anyway, see you.